Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the top five oldest cubes in my Rubik's Cube collection. So let's get started. So we'll start with the fifth oldest cube in my collection, and this is a Shenshou Megaminx. Now I want to say that this was gifted to me on the Christmas of 2014, so December 2014 this was given to me, and at the recording date of this video it is August of 2019. So it's roughly, what is that, four and a half years old, maybe a little bit over four and a half years old, but um, even just by looking at it you can tell this thing has seen better days. Some of the stickers are peeling, and I mean, first of all, it was made in 2014, and it's a Shen Show, so it turns absolutely terribly. Um, but at the time, I thought it was a pretty fun puzzle, um, and it's kind of nostalgic, considering that this is one of those puzzles that sort of got me more into cubing. Um, in fact, fun fact, I had a friend who his favorite puzzle was the Megaminx, which is actually the reason that I asked my parents for this puzzle in 2014. So moving on from this puzzle to the fourth oldest puzzle in my collection. Now this was sort of the cube that actually got me into speed cubing, as they call it. Um, I always liked Rubik's Cubes before I got this cube, but this cube actually allowed me to get fast at it. Now if I'm correct that this is a Aulong version 1, this cube at the time of its making, which I want to say I was gifted this for my birthday in like 2015 or something like that, um, so it's roughly four years old, um, maybe a little bit over, but that being said, it was seriously incredible at the time. And with my number one oldest cube, which I'll get to show you in a little bit, I averaged around a minute and a half. Um, but with this cube, I was able to get my times all the way down to 40 seconds, which felt really fast at the time. So it doesn't turn terribly. Um, it's really loud. I'm sure you can hear that. Um, it, it doesn't churn great <laughs> the more that I feel it. I'm sure it's just because I haven't churned it in like a really long time. Um, but yeah, this cube brings back good memories because this is sort of what got me into actual speed cubing. Now on from this cube to our third oldest cube, which is another Shen Shao cube, unfortunately. Um, so this is the Shen Shao 5x5. And I want to say that this was gifted to me on the Christmas of 2015, or something around that. So it's December of 2015, so it's just over three and a half years old. Um, so it turns terrible, I'm just going to tell you that much. Um, it does bring back nostalgia, because this is the first cube that I ever learned how to solve that was bigger than a 3x3. Three three. Um, I guess if you're not counting the Mega Minx, but this was the first end by end puzzle that was bigger than a 3x3 three three that I learned how to solve. And funny story, on that Christmas when I got this cube, all I wanted to do was just scramble it up like a 3x3 three three so I could solve it again. And at the moment, it sounds pretty stupid. I'm not sure why I didn't want to mix it all the way up and learn it at the time. But this one time, I think I was doing like an A-perm or something, and I accidentally slipped up a layer twice in a row, and my 11-year-old brain did not know how to handle this situation. Um, so I guess I sort of just like put the cube down, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do, what do I do? Um, and I came back to it the next day, and long story short, I ended up scrambling it all the way, and that was actually how I got into learning how to solve the puzzle. So some good memories there. So on from this absolutely terrible Shen Shou 5x5 to the second oldest cube in our collection. This is some really old, terrible turning 4x4 that quite frankly, I don't even know what it is. If for some reason any of you guys speak whatever language that is or are able to read it, you can let me know in the comments. It's totally okay if you don't because I would have absolutely no idea. Um, but it's some sort of old 4x4 that doesn't turn very good. Um, at the time, it was pretty sweet because this was, um, for me, filling the gap between my 3x3 and my 5x5. I wanted the 4x4 that I had heard so much about. Um, and I didn't want a Rubik's 4x4 because I heard that those didn't turn very well. Um, and at the time, I didn't know just how bad they actually were, um, to say the least. But this cube was really fun for me. Um, this one did take some learning time for my little 12-year-old brain, 
um, however you want to <laughs> phrase that. So this brings back some good memories. I want to say this was gifted to me for my birthday in 2016. Um, so it's like three-ish years old, so it's not terribly old, um, but it certainly looks old if you know what I mean. Okay, now real quickly before we get to the number one spot, I just want to do some honorable mentions. And they're not necessarily super old cubes, but they're more so just cubes that sort of got me into cubing. Our first honorable mention is the Cyclone Boys 2x2. All you need to know is it was my first 2x2 ever, and it turns absolutely terrible, and it's really loud. And not long after, I was gifted a Shen Shao 6x6, which at the time, I didn't know how bad this cube really was, but it was sort of the first cube that I ever had that was bigger than a 5x5. And then soon after that, I was obsessed with big cubes, so I wanted to get the next step up, which was, of course, a Shen Shao 7x7. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have got a Shen Shao, but I guess I didn't know much better at the time. And just one more thing that the Megaminx inspired from our fifth oldest cube in our collection was the start of non-cubic puzzles. And I didn't know what the WCA was or any of that at the time, so I just thought that this was kind of unique. It turns terrible, and it's it's a Shen Shao, of course. If it turns terrible, you could probably put money on it being a Shen Shao. But it was my first ever Pyraminx, so good memories. So now that all the honorable mentions are out of the way, we can show the oldest puzzle in my collection. Now when you see it, don't freak out. There is a reason that it looks like it does. So I will give you that exclamation right now. So as you can see, this is horrific. <laughs> I want to say that this was gifted to me sometime in 2013. This is one of those more original stickered Rubik's brands. It's missing a white tile and the sticker that goes with it, of course. It's also mi missing a red sticker. Um, and if for some reason you haven't noticed the elephant in the room, it has no yellow stickers or any of the stickers that go along with it. And that's because some time ago, I think around 2015 or 2016, I wanted to learn F2L, but for some reason my little 12 year old brain could not handle all those extra yellow stickers that didn't matter. Um, and if you need to learn like COLL or anything, they do sort of matter, or Volk Last Slot, they matter, but at the time I was just trying to learn good old F2L, and all those extra stickers were going to my head. So my smart self decided to just peel them off so I could have my quote-unquote F2L practice cue, as I like to call it. So all I could focus about was learning to intuitively pair them up and put them into their slot. So I guess kind of a fun little story behind that. In hindsight, I wish that I wouldn't have done that because I don't know how to get stickers for these. I guess I could probably just buy, buy like some like way long stickers or something and throw them on there, but that's just not original. Um, so, yep, that's that. So hopefully you enjoyed looking at all of these older puzzles of mine, or maybe you didn't, so I guess that's fine too. But it was kind of fun for me to make this video, just the nostalgia of it, looking at all these cubes that once were a big part of my life, so I guess that was pretty cool. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.